talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you not. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! Today is Monday, June the 3rd. Just doing a little after work fishing trip because it's after that day, it's going to rain for five days straight. Horrible, horrible, horrible. The next two weekends, I'm not going to be able to fish. That was when a big gar. And I'm just kind of tired of the same old places. We're trying an old boot hill, boot hill ditch right here. It's kind of up right now, but it's not real muddy. A log jam goes completely across. We're underneath a bridge. I'm already seeing a lot of activity. Going to be using red wigglers and rogue runners mostly. Nothing expensive, definitely. No crankbaits or nothing like that. We're just going to see what's all in here. I have a feeling it's bass, crappie, bowfin, guard, drum, bullhead, channels. Now I just got to figure out bobber or no bobber. I don't want to get hung. Got time to be changing hooks over and over. There it went. Oh my god, that's a big bluegill. Holy crap! Whoa! Go get the bucket! That is a monster for a river for a little ditch? This is the biggest bluegill I've ever caught out of here. I guarantee you this thing is nine inches, guys. This is a huge ditch bluegill. I, I knew something was up. My bobber went completely under. I was immediately thinking bowfin. That is a huge, it's got the big hump head. It's a beautiful male. I cannot believe the size of this river bluegill. It's just a little tiny ditch. Holy moly. Wow, if they're all like this, then we're in a good spot. Very first fish this big. Look at that. Folks, that's a nice bluegill for a little creek. My goodness, fat. You don't want to keep them? I don't want to walk all the way back, do you? No, I ain't got a stringer. Uh, all right, folks, sunfish. Pretty little long ear. Real pretty guy there, real pretty. Yeah. All right, nice little. Buffalo, buffalo, oh yeah, it's big. Oh my gosh, guys, unexpected catch. 
Oh. Black buffalo, about five pounds. I knew I'd get something. You we always, like I always say, when you're fishing these spots, you always get a nice surprise every time when you're least expecting it. Oh yeah. It's either a black or a small mouth. Feel the lips, to, boy. Not getting tired anytime soon, is he? <laughs> I know. It's going to scare them for a while, isn't it? Nice buffalo for a little ditch. Well, one time I really need to dip in it, huh? Okay, I'm going to have to get over here by you or something. It's not bad. Small mouth this time. It's a small mouth buffalo. <sighs> Not no monster, but he's bigger than the one I caught last time. Yep, small mouth. Two pounds, maybe three. Yeah. Definitely scared all the fish for about 20 minutes. I need the pliers. The scissors broke. Gotta be, yeah, I gotta have pliers. The orange pliers in the second pocket. Yeah, your green scissors broke. I had to throw them away. Let's get a look at this buffalo over here. I think it's gonna destroy my hook. Maybe not, I might be able to use it again. Not a huge guy by any means, but nice little bu small mouth buffalo guy. All right, yeah, he's three pounds. Nice little buffalo for a little ditch. It's a good variety of fish here. I'm really impressed so far. I didn't actually even expect him. Cool, made my evening. Should have definitely brought the bucket, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna get him back in. You will actually take the camera off my head, and uh, that way I can get a picture from it later. Huh? You gotta put it on Facebook. Are you sure you're aiming right? It looks mm -hmm. way over there. Yeah, that's right. Put it down a little bit to see that again. Okay. God, hold on, let me wash my hands. Like I said, <clears throat> right in that brush. My goodness. Wow. Big old jumbo gill again, right in front of the trees. Told you, oh my God, it's just like the first one. Folks, these, man, maybe not as big, but it's decent. It's an eight incher. God, it's a Jumbo Creek gill right there. Heck yeah. I, he was exactly where I knew he'd be, right below that brush. A lot of fish hiding in there. Nice bluegills in here, my goodness. 
where they got the big hump head. Unbelievable for a tiny creek, I'm telling you. Here, hold it up. Let me zoom in on her. She's got a nice little one in there. Yeah. Good job. Hold it down a little bit. Okay, that's good. Uh, I know. That's what I hate. Wilma's got into something big here, guys, on a tiny worm. You gotta have a bow fin, probably. It's a buffalo. Let him get tired. Let him get, oh my gosh, she's got a big channel cap. It's six or seven pounds. Let him get tired, let him get tired, please. Let him pull. Oh my gosh. Just a little nibble, huh? This place is good. Man, that's a big channel cat. Don't pull that hard. Just keep them close, but don't pull that hard. All right, folks, fish of the day. Oh, yeah. My goodness. Look how long he is. Guys, this is six or seven pounds. Yeah. My God. All right, hold him up. Folks, that is a nice channel cat. My God. It's not fat, but it's real long. I'm gonna say he's 20 inches. My gosh. Whew. Wow, right at the end of the day. Here, I want you to hold this so I can get a good pic. Here, here. Folks, the fish of the day was the buffalo. Now it's this channel cat. Nice channel. Oh, you want this one? Oh, dear. Oh, good. Jesus, you don't know how to hold it. Hold it good. Nice channel. Woo! Okay, you just want to throw it back. Yeah. Oh, Small. It's almost dead. Before we left, looks like a largemouth from here. It's so dark I can barely see. I'm really disappointed right now. I had the uh, Bomber Model A on and shook a 13 inch, 14 inch crappie. Had it halfway in, a big old white crappie. Right now, these buffalo are spawning in this big old brush pile. You can hear, their, get, hear them sucking with their mouths. Yeah, I got a nice little large mouth. It's actually a real large mouth, about a pound. If you can even see it. Ended up having a good day, a good variety of fish. She got that big old channel. Uh, if I would have caught that crappie, it really would have made my day. I got the buffalo, three nice bluegill, a couple nice sunfish. Uh, this place really does have potential.